I think if I had a formula for success, it would be know yourself, know what you're good at, know what your hot buttons are, what really evokes passion, and find the career that fits that. What I try to get people to do is to create something and see that it's good. And out of that self-satisfaction of what they do, I, I call that success. The word that kind of goes through my mind every morning is relevance. And hopefully when I go to bed at night, I can say that I was somehow relevant that day. There are no failures. That was my success. There was never any failure. There was always teachable learning moments. The other thing I would say is to embrace every opportunity, embrace every change, embrace everything that comes your way, take advantage of it, because those experiences, those opportunities, they're like snow on Christmas. They're like all day lollipops. The question comes up, or the concept of shift happens, and I've heard that we can have students enrolled in programs today, and the jobs that are going to be available five years from now don't even exist. And how do you prepare for that? Uh, well, it's a great dilemma, um, but that's where I get back to the, the human commodity. I think that with the career academies, the advantage that we have is that our business people that concept is a reality for them. If we as educators sit in isolation and design programs um, to meet the needs of our students, we don't have the working knowledge of that. We don't know what that, how competitive that world is and how to equip the students to react or become productive in a company to face those challenges in the future. So um, that's where it's vital to have the input from our business partners when we design programs because they're not looking at today. We as educators tend to look at today. This is the problem that faces us right now and then we implement a program. Um, when we partner with our business partners, that's not the way it happens. They let us know right up front, well, yeah, this is what is out there today, but 10 years from now, or f not even that, a couple years from now, this new technology is coming and uh, we can't prepare for that in isolation. We can't exist without the workforce and our business leaders and our community partners telling us what they need. And that type of advisory role for businesses is so critical for us. We have an obligation, a mandate, a responsibility to build a curriculum that is responsive to workforce needs. I can tell you from firsthand experience how many times a new business will ask us, where will our workforce be coming from? How will workforce training be accomplished? And in each of those cases, we're able to respond very affirmatively that yes, we can support your workforce needs with the educational assets that Polk County offers. And having just recently visited the career academies and seeing, again, firsthand, how the students are responding to the applied learning situations there is very, very exciting to see. And, and I really believe that's what our career academies are able to do. Uh, with, within a year, you could have a career academy up and running to, to meet the needs of a new product, a new venture that's going on in the county. And that's pretty impressive. Part of the magic of the career academies is that uh, they give students an entree to that world outside of the classroom, and they give the business partner an entree to the classroom. And uh, without that partnership that the, the academies represent, uh, we end up with this gap that somehow has to be bridged once they move out into the workforce. The sooner we can start building that bridge, uh, the better and the more successfully we cross it. Let me give you just an example because I think a lot of people may assume that, that it's simply a talk thing, that you sit on a board and you might make a suggestion here or there, but we're talking about real involvement here. Um, we have actually given project assignments to our students in which they have to do something and then get up and present that as a formal proposal. 
by having people from industry actually be the true judges, people who are actually helping us evaluate and grade the kids, the, the kids now know this is not just a school situation, this is a real life, and they respond so much more positively, they, they, they reach out and they rise to the occasion in which these professionals are judging them. And then the, the professionals walk away going, I can't believe these kids are doing this stuff. Well, and another thing is the student, it validates what we're doing to the students because we tell them over and over again how important being in an academy is. And then when they see those leaders in the community come in and partner with us, they, they believe it. The beauty of these career academies is with these business partners, they've come in and they've dictated and said, teachers, this is what we need. This is what we need in the future generations for the future job markets. How do you help us? And we've said, we're going to create a symbiotic relationship. We're going to blend the businesses with the education so that what we're creating is a whole person, essentially. A person that is not only academically astute, is professional, knows how to dress, knows how to communicate, but also has the specific skills necessary for those particular job markets. In the Academy of Legal Studies, there um, the community leaders and the business leaders that um, help us in our academy definitely play a huge role. Um, they come and they speak to us and um, they actually offer us internships and shadowing opportunities. Um, for two summers in a row, I've been shadowing um, a circuit court judge and that's really given me a look of how the legal profession really is in real life. Um, it's given me first-hand knowledge on um, how the court system works and how great attorneys are made and I feel that these business leaders are really contributing to our academy, strengthening our students and in turn they're seeing their future, their future employees hopefully um, and how they're getting this education that is so valuable and how they're playing a role in it. We have some of the best uh, trainees from our Power Academy currently employed with us. We hired three from the first class and we have two in student positions from last year's graduating class. And everything I hear from the, our employees that are working with those students is they're, they're the best prepared they've had. We used to have trainee programs, we used to bring in interns from colleges, but the kids that come from the Power Academy to understand the industry, they've got those employability skills, they just seem to be eager, and, you know, they're in a position they want to be in, not something their parents told them they should do. They've got the passion for it by the time they come to us as employees. I think if a business partner approached me about possibly partnering with us uh, on a career academy, I would say, listen, it's time to kind of look to the future. You are very interested in having a well-prepared workforce, and here's a way to do it. You can plant seeds now in these young people to give them an opportunity to learn about your area of business, maybe to provide them with an internship, maybe to allow them to come into your place of business and get a real world feel for how it all works. This is the thing to do to pay it forward, if you will, to ensure that when our students graduate from high school, they're prepared to either enter additional educational opportunities or to enter the, work, the workforce, the workplace. And I think as a business owner, that is what I would certainly want, to be sure that I had great employees coming in the door, maybe knocking on that door, anxious, excited, and passionate about wanting to do a great job. To be a community partner with workforce education means that you're making an impact within Polk County. We're helping retain the talent pool, you're helping give back to the community. You're making stronger companies. Our trend has been our students get educated here locally, either um, in this county or in this state, but then they find high technology jobs um, out of state and sometimes out of the country. And we want to keep them here. So we have a catchphrase, kind of like a slogan, that is, you want them, we've got them, let's keep them. And we don't want to be the best kept secret in the county anymore.